I want to talk to you today and, and just come before you, humbly submit a request that has been boiling in the background of my psyche and the psyches of you know my people far too long. The oppressed elephant has stood unnoticed in the center of the room for far too long. It's uh, high time that I, a self-proclaimed spokesperson for the group, address it forthwith. I'm going to need y'all to pay some reparations to me. All right. Yes, I said it. I need y'all to pay reparations to me for you. See, I am a white man. Consequently, many of my Britannic forebears suffered needlessly for hundreds of years under the subjugation and malice of the giant red fist that was the Roman Empire and then later the Roman Republic. Yes, for centuries. These proto Pisanos hailing from the mountains and valleys of old Tuscany rained down terror upon my people who fought bravely against the whips and scorns of brutal tyranny, but were nevertheless relegated to the marginal notes of history through a cruel turn of fate. I think about $569 billion, uh, give or take a few pennies, ought to do nicely. Yeah, $569 billion. Now, if that sounds a little ludicrous to you, I invite you to cast your perceptive eyes to the glorious state of California, where this exact amount of money is now claimed to be owed to black California residents in reparation for the evils of slavery and Jim Crow laws in the history of these here United States. Governor Greasy Gavin Newsom, doubtless freshly wined and dined from his latest unironic trip to the French Laundry, passed legislation into law a while back creating a task force specifically aimed at studying the necessary data not to determine if reparations were necessary, to in fact, to determine how much how much is owed? In California, apparently, they've moved past the stage where critical thinking applies to the discussion and on to the fun part. $569 billion works out to about $223,200 per person. And that, my friends, is a hell of a chunk of Obama-style change. Now, the first attempt didn't go very well for me, I, I can tell. So let me break in here to state that I am also owed reparations on account of my apparel for decorate, decades, decades, literally decades, people such as myself who wore a cowboy hat were routinely depicted inaccurately in films and television shows, able to draw a pistol faster than the speed of light at high noon and shoot with deadly accuracy from the hip, able to fly through a plate glass window at any time seemingly without injury, happy to sit in a smoke-filled saloon and play poker with oversized dollar bills while drinking whiskey at nine in the morning. Okay. That last one actually may apply to my life, but the rest of it is sheer nonsense. And I resent that my people, my people, have been so marginalized throughout the golden age of television and film. Give me some money, folks. Now, back to our story. Apparently, the state of California actually takes this seriously and in the precise wrong-headed way. It's the old story of equality of opportunity superseded by the more nefarious equality of outcome. And Comrade Newsom is more than happy to play that game that will no doubt win him a shitload of approval from both his black constituency and his white hippie liberal constituency as well. It's a win-win if you don't know anything about economics, but hey, you might say, what the hell does Chad Prather care if California wants to tank its economy faster than the big one is going to break it off uh, in, in a, like, like a Kit Kat bar into the ocean someday? Well, it's the principle of the matter, of course. There are historical and even present cases of for reparations made to living people who have gone through some evil, but we all, or at least most of us, know that this isn't one that makes a whole lot of sense. You really want to make reparations to the black community in your state or even this country, maybe start by rolling back the kinds of legislation down through the decades that put black Americans in a position of generational poverty in the first place. Wouldn't that be a lovely idea? And hey, at the risk of stepping on a Kanye-sized rake here, I'd like to close by pointing out that I have one more area wherein I seek reparations myself. You see, largely as a result of the practices of the Jewish committee, I've been missing a piece of my penis since birth. That's right. It's time to pay up, you guys. Pay up.